Alrighty, so in the last video, we were able to get ourselves up to where we could package up our plugin with all the information that we needed. Now we just need to upload it and create our product on the portal. So for starters, to actually even get access to the Marketplace Seller Portal, you have to go through basically everything you would anywhere else and fill out a W-2 or whatever it is. I'm not too familiar with all this stuff. But basically get yourself approved to where you can actually go through and list products for sale. So you have to fill out all your tax info and all that. Then once that's done, you can go over here to add product. And what you have to do is basically follow it with each one of these. So everything that has an asterisk next to it must be added and filled out. So you have to give it a title. So my example plugin, that's done. You have to select the price. I'll just do free. Category is going to be code plugins because that's what it is. In this case, this product does not contain third-party software. So that is correct. And here's a bunch of tags you would want to give it. So in my case, this would be a uh, spawn helper. So I'll just search for spawn and I'll add spawn system and a bunch of others that are very much similar to it. And we have to give it a short description. So example description here, long description, blah, blah, blah. And here you want to fill out accordingly. So you would delete all this because it does not give you that many characters to work with, unfortunately and you would want to list your features. So features, spawn, or uh, helps spawn actors above head. And there's my features. Then for the core modules. So that is specific to basically your plugin. So let me head back to the portal and I'll show you the one that this one uses because this actually uses a couple. So if we head down there, you will see the core modules are the product, like the project name, and then the type. So in my case, because this plugin is using runtime, is uploaded at runtime, this is a runtime plugin. So we would want to add spawn assistant, comma, runtime. And that's all we have to have there. Then the number of blueprints in our case is going to be one. Number of C++ classes is one. Is it network replicated? In our case, no then the supported development platforms, which is going to be Win64, as well as the target build platforms, which is also Win64. Then we have to add a documentation link. So this would be your documentation.com. Make that a hyperlink. And if you have one, you can add a link to an example project right here. I do not, and I usually don't recommend putting it all the way down here. I would recommend you clean it up and put it inside of your long description because if we hit preview, your long description is loaded at the top because that's most likely what people are going to read. So after that, any additional notes that you have, if you do not have any, go ahead and remove it. So you want to make sure this is kept nice and clean. Uh, then, last thing, of course, you have to make sure you fill out your gallery. So upload all of your images. So I don't even know if I have any of these in the right size to do so, but it tells you the resolution. So it wants a minimum of 1 and a maximum of 25 images that are of the resolution 1920 by 1080. Then you want to have one thumbnail, which is 2048, or sorry, 2084 by 2084, which you can also get from these images that you've uploaded as it has its own built-in way to crop it. And same thing with the feature image, which is of the resolution of 894 by 488. Once you have all that done, you have to actually set your product or your project. So here we have project files and project versions. So under here, we just hit create new version and here's the name. So in my case, I always do, well, as you see here, the version and then the engine that it is for. So I do V1.0, 4.27. Then we have the project file link, so the URL. In my case, I uploaded it to Google Drive, so I'm just gonna right click, hit share, change it to anyone with the link so it's not uh, restricted, copy the link, and paste it in. Now this one's going to be the supported engine version. So if we click that, we can select 4.27, and same thing, it's kind of backwards compatible. So I'm going to do 4.27 since this is the only engine that this plugin supports because I built it on 4.27. If I had built this on 4.26, 
I could check both of these. So hit confirm. Then we have the platforms. So in this case, we're only doing Win64. So that's going to be Windows 64 bit. So we check that and hit confirm. And then you can add any other notes that you wish to add for this release. So after that, once you are sure you have everything the way you want it filled out, uh, all this stuff doesn't matter too much. It's mostly about the actual plugin itself. So be this is what you want to be weary of. You would hit submit for approval. I'm not going to hit that. I don't even have everything filled out. But this is where you would hit submit for approval, and then you have to wait. So pretty much you'll just get an email containing or saying that it has been submitted. And usually this takes anywhere between one day. Like I've had it as quick as I think about five hours, not for an initial approval, but for an update it was that fast. All the way up to I think the longest I've had to wait was about six days to only find out that it had failed. So... That's going to be all for this video. You should now be able to submit your plugin for approval. And next up, I'll show you what to do and how to read through the results that you get back if your plugin has failed to be approved. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below and I will try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.